if you could fit 10 hot dogs in your mouth all at once, then you will win $100. Just to give you guys an example of what it's gonna look like before I ask a bunch of random people to try it, I'm gonna do it by myself, for free. Okay, here's three. Oh yeah. <laughs> you have to use your cheek, for oh, sure. Oh yeah. It always feels good when it hits the cheek. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! Six, four more. Open wide. Oh, hey. Oh, we have a winner. <laughs> Oh, was that disgusting? That is f***ing disgusting. But at least now you know, people could do it. So who's ready to try? Damn. <laughs> Bro, I'm not even gonna lie, if I was a girl, you know how lucky any guy would be to have me? Bro, did you see how much I could fit in my mouth? Okay, bro, 10 hot dogs in your mouth, 100 bucks. Before you start, I got a quick question for his homies. Do you think he's gonna be able to do it? Uh, I don't know, I don't know. Hopefully he will. Let's go. Let's go, Rike. One, One let's go. Two, two. two. Oh, that's three. Three, let's go. Okay. Four. One, let's go, let's go. Five. Five. Okay, let's go, Rike. You got it, you got it. Five more. Five more. Six. Six. Let's go. Seven. Seven. Let's go. Three more. Three more. Oh. Eight. Oh, eight. Let's go. Two more. Two more. Oh, that's struggling. That's nine. struggling. Nine, nine. One, one more. more struggling. One, one more. 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 One I mean, I can try, but we'll see. Let me see, how wide could you open your mouth? <laughs> the camera? Uh, you don't have to show the camera, you can show me how wide. Uh, you're gonna have to open a lot wider than that to fit 10 hot dogs in. <laughs> 10 hot dogs, go, go, go. Okay. Oh, she's starting with two. Two hot dogs, okay. <laughs> Number three is in. Number four is in. Okay, she's going for number five. Uh-huh, the jaw is stretching. Okay, five are in. She's going for number six. Hey, right, don't cheat. You can't hold it with your hand. Those things gotta be in there by themselves. Uh-oh, is there room for number six? She's using the cheek method. It's going in the cheek. Oh, <laughs> shove that thing in there. <laughs> That's five so far. Number six is struggling. Number six is struggling and it is, it's in, it's in. Number six is in. Please grab number seven. I'll help you out. Here. Here's seven. Here's seven. <laughs> Will number seven fit? Lucky number seven. <laughs> Will seven fit? No? Oh, oh, no. Hey, you got six. I mean, hey, this doesn't work, but other things does. Oh, shit. <laughs> Yo, we might, we might have to exchange numbers after this. I'll call you later. Okay, guys, we are here with Jay. Thanks for having me. Bree. And you know we had to give Junior a shot at this, so tank glizzies, Junior, whenever you're ready, go. So I'm gonna go for like a guerrilla warfare approach where I just grab 10 of them and see if I can get them. He's going 10 at once. 10 at once, there's no way. So, one, yeah, this is 10. I think I can do it. You have one try. It's 100 bucks, <sighs> baby. Oh, it's 100? Oh, I didn't even know. Junior, 100 bucks, only smell the money. Uh, <sighs> I'll go for it. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Mm. Push it in. No hands, no hands. Look up. Oh. Three, two, one. He just completed the freaking challenge. All 10 at one time, Junior. Please and thank you. Wait, I don't want to hold it with my glizzy hand. <laughs> no, oh. no. Waste some money. So oh, not halal. <laughs> Junior, 100 bucks right here. Please and thank you. Thank you very much for having me. Oh. Enjoy. Wait, do I get to keep the hot dogs? You could keep the hot dogs, yes. Here we go! Oh, ew. Oh. Yo guys, viewer discretion is advised. That is actually, that's actually disgusting, bro. It looks like a- like salmonella or something. <laughs> I don't even know what it's called. I don't know, the 
salmonella, mad cow disease, whatever. <laughs> All right. Yo, how did I get Darman to be in my video, bro? This is an insane collab, bro. Wallace and Darman. That's yeah, crazy. Video coming soon. All right, guys. <laughs> All right, guys. I am here with Canelo from Wish. We got the Walmart Canelo. What's up, bro? What up, what up? Like, I walk into like Mexican restaurants, and like people freak out thinking I'm actually Canelo for a second. So Junior, aka Jay, his favorite boxer is Canelo. What do you say we go and surprise Junior with his favorite boxer, Let's Canelo? Do it, yeah. <laughs> Okay, bro, so uh, I just need you to follow me. We're sneaking into Junior's backyard right now. What if Junior like faints? Nah, Junior knows you, so I feel like he's gonna, like, his reaction's gonna be super short, so. Okay, Scott, just wait right here and I'll be down with Junior, okay? Okay, time to find Junior. Jay, where you at? Oh, the bathroom? You're gonna think this is crazy. You're not gonna believe it. Open the door, Junior. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Wait, are you washing your hands? Yeah, I've never done it before. It feels weird. If you wash your hands, that for sure means that you uh, you were wiping and then the toilet paper ripped and oh, it yeah, like yeah. went up. You know when like uh, you're wiping and then it rips and then your finger accidentally goes inside and you go, oh shit, like. Oh yeah, all the time, bro. Yeah, all the time. It's like brown on your finger. Okay. But, uh, you're gonna like, you're gonna think I'm crazy. You're actually not gonna believe me, but Am I gonna get killed? No, you're not gonna get killed. Who's your favorite boxer? Canelo. Canelo? Canelo. Okay, well, uh, <laughs> I just need you to, like, come down and, like, close your eyes, okay? I'm s like, okay. Close your eyes. Hold on, hold on. Do not look. Okay. Don't look. Just close your eyes. I trust you. Don't come yet. No, no, no. Don't, don't okay, walk yet. Don't walk yet. Junior, hold on. Okay, don't look yet. Don't look yet. Am I about to be outside? Hold on, you're about to be outside. Wait. Keep closing your eyes. Keep closing your eyes. Keep closing your eyes. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Do not open yet. Do not open yet. Wait. Stay right there. And you can open whenever. Meet Canelo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you love Canelo. Hey, bro, big fan, yo. Bro, you look just like my friend Scott. <laughs> bro, Brandon, how did you get this? <laughs> Guys, Junior knows Scott. They've known each other for a long time. I just wanted to pull this prank on Junior. It looks like Blake Griffin and Canelo had a baby. <laughs> <laughs> if Blake Griffin and Canelo had a baby, bro, that's why. Canelo from Wish. Oh, well, Junior, did your wish bro, come true? Bro, yo, bro, I'm a big fan. Hey, can I get a picture real quick, bro? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> JX Canelo collab. You never get this. You never get this. <laughs> la 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 la. Okay, guys. So how this game works? It's pretty simple. I have a water balloon and I have a needle. I'm gonna sing a part of a song for Junior, and if he does not complete the lyrics correctly, boom, splash, wet. Okay, ready, Junior? I'm ready. Your first song. I'm starting you off easy. I'm starting you off light. This is a song that everybody probably knows, okay? okay? Good for you, you look happy and healthy, not me, if you ever cared to ask. Good for you, you're doing good out there without me, baby, like a damn sociopath. Ah, you got that yeah. right? Yeah! You got yeah. it Yeah! You yeah. Got, got it right, I was so close to popping it. Yeah, well, when, when I was in the stew with Olivia, she, I, you know, I was helping her think of lyrics and stuff. <laughs> okay, all right. Your song is Party in the USA by Miley Cyrus. Go ahead, Junior. Right. <clears throat> Jumped in the cab, here I am for the first time. Look to my right and I see the Hollywood sign. This is all so crazy. Everybody seems so famous. Ah! Dude, dude. Hey, hey, hey. So I put my hands up, playing my song. Not in my head like, yeah. Just like the balloon. Okay, Junior. Let me switch it up and go Drizzy Drake on you, okay? Go for it. This is popping on you, bro. No, it's not. You know what? Are you confident? Oh, yeah. Oh, if yeah. you're oh, so yeah. confident, I want you to look up at me. Okay. Go for it. I touched down in 86. Knew I was a man by the age of six. I even f***ed a girl that used to babysit, but that was years later on some crazy sh**. Ah! Ugh! No! Ugh! No! Ugh! No! Ugh! Okay, here you go. Give me this, thank you. I'm so confident in this one, I will look up, okay? Okay, okay. Scratch a million off my checklist three years ago. I'm a turn up on a hater every chance that I get. Brandon, bro, hey, look up. <laughs> you fucking bitch! <laughs> you fucking bitch! <laughs> That's not the lyric. Wait, 
It's add two zeros to the one. I'm in a different mode. Oh, the, ah! it felt like I drowned for a second. <laughs> Brandon is fixing his hair right now after I just destroyed him on the water balloon. Brandon. <laughs> so there's a million on my checklist three years ago. What's the next line? Have you learned your lesson? Add two zeros to the one. I'm in a different mode. <laughs> okay, guys. So I'm here with my best friend, Ali. What's good, guys? And we're here to tell you a little story that happened just a couple days ago at my brother's birthday party. It was FaZe Rug's birthday, in case you guys didn't know. Just, what, two days ago? Yeah, Three days happy ago. birthday, Brian. There's a funny slash interesting, very interesting story. Cringy. That happened at Brian's party that wasn't in his video. It wasn't on any of our Instagram stories. Nobody was really supposed to know about this, but... It's, it's a, it's a you, funny. You might as well tell the whole world how you screwed up, all right? <laughs> uh, long story short, it was Brian's birthday. Me, Ali, all the boys, all the family, all the friends, everybody that Brian invited, we were there. We were having a good time. You know, it's a birthday party. We're drinking. We're all vibing. We're having a great time. The time comes and it's it's later at night. I'd say around two, two thirty a.m. All my people out there, you guys know. You know when you're drinking a little bit and it gets late and it's you know two, two thirty a.m. You, you start sending crazy texts yeah we call that demon time you're in demon mode you know you're just trying to you know what i mean you're trying to you're trying to find a girl so it hits like 2 2 30 what do i do the shoulder oh he always grabs my shoulder ali bro we gotta find some this is a routine every time i drink a little bit it's called the shoulder grab i grab ali i'm faded ali bro we we got it we gotta find some girls you know where they at bro and then that's when we start sending a million texts we start sending a million texts right okay so here's here's what happens all right so it's 2, 2.30 a.m., Brian's party is near the end, you know, everyone's having a good time, and, and I do the shoulder grab, Ali. We need some girls, you know, we, we got, you know, this is this is cool, but you know, it's all guys, you know. We've been here since 8 p.m., it's 2.30. We've been vibing with all men for the last six and a half hours, you know. It's, it's a good time, but there's only so much you could do with, with, with your boy friends for six hours, you know. Yeah, you, you talk about basketball, you watch the Suns game, you take some shots, but at the end of the night, you're gonna need some girls. Yeah. So it's two in the morning and I get on my Snapchat. Uh, I'm scrolling down. I'm scrolling down my snapchat, right? We're trying to find you know one of my friends that are girls, you know that You know my f that would like to have a very you know beautiful night. Yeah, you know my my girl friends that are girls that Like they don't have feelings for me, but they like to meet up with me at like 2 a.m. You yeah. know they just use me You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, I do feel used sometimes bro. Why <laughs> why are the girls down to meet up with me at 3 a.m. Bro, do they just use me? Anyways guys, so I'm on my snap. I did the shoulder grab. I'll leave. We gotta find the girls. We gotta find the girls There's a girl that uh, I see keep in mind. I was drunk. I was not regular Brandon Oh my god. And I see the name and I'm like Like who is this? Like I didn't know this girl. I was like why? Is this girl in my snapchat the name did not sound familiar i never hung out with her never met up with her i didn't know how she was in my snapchat so i'm like let me click her story i want to see her story you know see what she looks like see how i know her how did she end up in my snapchat i click her story her snapchat story nothing she had no story for the night nothing came up so i'm like dude how do i know this girl how do why do i have her added on snap so when i clicked on her profile and there was no story that she had posted um, there was like a, a cartoon. What do you call the Snapchat? The bitmoji. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The bitmoji. It's like a Snapchat cartoon. Uh, this girl had blonde hair. She had, I think, like blue eyes. She was wearing like a skirt. You know, she looked- You're judging someone based off a of bitmoji. <laughs> I was drunk. What kind of common sense is that? Okay, hold uh, on. Let me finish. Oh Let me finish. Uh. So I'm drunk. Like I go to Ali. I don't tell him that I only saw her cartoon. Keep in mind, I have no idea what this girl looks like. I got a baddie. I got a baddie, bro. Okay, okay. I, I don't have her Instagram. She had not posted a Snapchat story. I don't know who it is. I've never met her. And I go up to Ali and I'm like, yo, bro, I just hit up this baddie, bro. She's bad. Blonde hair. Cute as shit. So I send her a message. What are you doing? And she replies. It's like 2.30 a.m. She's like, hey, you know, I'm chilling. What, what about you? I'm like, you know what? Come through. Like, we're here at the party. Like, come through. You know, we're going to have a good time. She's like, oh, okay. I'm down. So at this point, it's like 2.45 a.m., 3 a.m. And I go to Ali. I'm like, bro, she's down to come. Like, she's down. She's driving here right now. And he's like, oh, shit, hell yeah. You know, we do, like, good good shit, bro, you know. So I'm waiting there. You know, I'm chilling with my brother, and we're, we're just talking. I get, a, I get a Snapchat. Hey, I'm here. I'm outside. 
Keep in mind, still to this moment, 3 a.m., she's outside waiting for me to walk down to bring her in. I still don't know what she looks like, only what the cartoon looked like. And he keeps saying, bro, Ollie, trust me, she's so bad. So anyways, I go downstairs, and I, I don't want to get hate for this next part, so I'm literally like, I'm saying it in the nicest way possible. <laughs> that cartoon, <laughs> I got catfished times seven billion. Like, I, it was to the point where I opened the gate, and the girl is standing right in front of me, and in my head, I'm like, this is not her. This is not the cartoon. This is not the one from the cartoon. But listen, that, okay, I love you, Brandon, you're my brother, but that's your fault. How do you now ask for a picture of her or anything? You're going based off a of Bitmoji, bro. The cartoon was hot. It's 2021. You should have got like a picture, had her snap you a picture. I was drunk. I was in the mood. You know when you're in the mood, your your brain just, you, you lose focus. Yeah. You're just like, hey, what are you doing? Come through. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, you just want to you you finish the night the right way. And but then, not to but mention, at least you got to know what she looks like. I just assume the cartoon is what she looked like in real life. So, so I opened the gate and I'm like, in my head, I'm like, there's no way that this girl standing right in front of me is the one that I've been snapchatting so lo, lo and behold I asked for her name it's the name on my snapchat so you know I, I bring the girl up the elevator I bring her up to the party and uh, I go to Ali right away I'm like hey Ali this is this is her you know say hi and I could tell right away in Ali's face like I was shocked <laughs> like I was like oh wow obviously I played it off but I was shocked I didn't know what to do because like in a way I was kind of telling Ali like bro help me get out of this but then Ali was kind of telling me like yo bro you brought her here so you know you gotta do what you gotta do like he pretty much was telling me like you know you, you can't send her back home she drove all the way here i was like i was like you know what bro like you're right i'm not a up person like i'm not mean you know a mean person would be like oh like i don't she doesn't look like what she did you know go home send her back home but i'm not like that you know i was raised differently so i was just like i'm like whispering in ali's ear like so do i just like take one for the team like what am i supposed to do and like ali's just telling me like bro i mean you, you can't send her home that's fucked up i mean you guys want the long story or the short story just, just let him know what happened <laughs> let him know long story short your boy Brandon, aka Bro Hollis, ends up in a, in a hotel with this girl because I was too nice to like, you know, tell her like, hey, you don't look like the cartoon, uh, go home. So I just played it off with, oh my God, hi, like you're beautiful, like good to see you, nice to finally meet you. Such a gentleman. Fuck you. <laughs> you for not saving me out of that situation what do you mean i told you to do what you gotta do that's your problem you you, me. you invited someone based off a of bitmoji i'm an idiot who does that you should have like you didn't even see a picture of her i was waiting for you as my bro to be like okay let me help you get out of this you know what i mean but no you let me end up in a freaking a holiday inn but i ended up in some hotel with this girl long story short it happened that's, that was your decision, right? It freaking happened. It happened. I got catfish. I got catfish so bad. I got catfish, bro. But, but, it was, but it's his it's fault. It's my fault. Can I take blame for a second? It was my fault. It was, it was it your was fault. Definitely my fault. I'm taking blame. I'm not blaming her. I was an idiot for judging how this person was going to look based on a Snapchat cartoon. If I had any sort of common sense, I would have asked for a picture. I would have asked for her Instagram. I would have asked to see what the f*** she looked like. Instead of grabbing my shoulder. Oh, yeah, I got a baddie coming. I got a baddie. <laughs> Long story short, this is how I ended up having her Snapchat. This girl is friends with one of my friends. We have like mutual friends. And one time uh, she went up to one of my boys and was like, hey, do you know Brandon Berwadis? You know, he's cute. Can I get a snap? So my friend, you know, being a, a good friend, was like, oh yeah, here's a Snapchat. Let me know what you guys think about all this in the comment section down yeah. below. <laughs> Let me know what you think about what Brandon is. I'm an all idiot. Right, what Brandon I'm is, an idiot. Right. Don't be a Brandon. Do not be oh, Brandon. Man. Don't be me. I'm an idiot. I can never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you're the right girl So I can only say that it feels right